Picture this, I'm an Aussie Doctor Who fan wanting a taste of the real show. So I set out on a 10,000 mile journey from Australia and I wanted to see at least five iconic Doctor Who locations. I wanted to see the real deal. It was time to be on the ground of the Doctor's adventures. So my girlfriend and I got on a 20 hour flight from Australia to Wales and it almost killed us, but we made it to Cardiff. And I'm sure a lot of you will recognize some of these spots. So behind me is the Wales Millennium Centre. You might recognise this place from such episodes as Boomtown and the Series 3 finale. Um, but it's actually just a, a beautiful theatre. It's lit up green at the moment because they are playing Shrek the Musical here. So that's pretty Shrek-tastic if you ask me. Somebody wants so we are in the Millennium Centre now and this reception area is actually the same reception area from the episodes New Earth and The Girl Who Waited. Who knew? From Doctor Who to Torchwood, you might recognize this old thing as one of the many entrances to Torchwood. I tried to look up what it actually is, what significance it has here in Cardiff, but it is actually listed on Google as Torchwood Hub. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I wanted a video of myself like pretending to go down into the Torchwood hub, but my girlfriend kept on tilting the camera down with me. So she, she made me look like a fool. Don't follow me down <laughs> the camera. All right, here we go. Meg. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Okay, no, I won't do it again. This is the main thoroughfare for the Cardiff Bay and I think you'll remember the scene in Boomtown where the TARDIS is going haywire and there's cracks forming in the street. This is it, this is, this is where it happens. And it seems that they've repaired it rather quickly from 2005, so bravo. And of course I had to recreate this iconic scene. The face of bow they called me. See ya. The face of what? 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 <laughs> and now here is a location that a lot of Torchwood fans would recognize, the main entrance to Torchwood that has been turned into Yanto's shrine. That's right, when uh, Yanto, spoiler alert, uh, died in series three, this became a, uh, a fan shrine to, to dedicate him and it's pretty wild and there's a lot of cool fan memorabilia on it. After paying my respects to Yanto, we made our way to another iconic Doctor Who location, Cardiff Castle. Hello, we are at Cardiff Castle. Now this location here, I believe is most prominently known for the Almost People and Rebel Flesh, but it's actually used for a lot more episodes than we think. Let's take a look. Stupid walk aside, I absolutely loved Cardiff Castle. Even if at the time they had these gingerbread men set up and they were creepier than any Doctor Who monster ever. As I said, you should recognize a lot of this space from the 2011 series six two-parter, The Almost People in the Rebel Flesh. So that was fun to run down corridors pretending I was running from a copy of myself. But along my journey, I was pleasantly surprised to learn that the library there was actually the library they used in Journey to the Center of the TARDIS. What? And there were parts of the castle and corridors that were used in bloody heaven sent. I had no idea. I did stay for a few billion years less than Capaldi though, but the architecture was just truly incredible so I can see why they filmed there. Other episodes that they filmed here include The Snowman and The Name of the Doctor and apparently they filmed some Torchwood and Sarah Jane stuff here as well. Cardiff Castle is probably one of the best places for all things Doctor Who. Much like this channel and you should definitely subscribe. Sorry, I had to say it. I had to say it. But we couldn't stay for long and we had to make our way up the street to our next location. But before we dive deeper into my Doctor Who trip, I wanted to express my gratitude for today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Whether you're navigating through clinical mental health challenges like anxiety or depression or just going through the hurdles of life, therapy can equip you with invaluable tools for a new perspective. Now, some of you might be wondering, hey, what does BetterHelp have to do with Doctor Who? Well, my friends, just as the doctor explores time and space to overcome challenges, BetterHelp allows you to explore your inner landscape and face whatever obstacles 
obstacles come your way. It's an online platform making the process of finding a therapist seamless and convenient. By answering a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. So if you're ready for a journey of self-discovery, then head to the link in my description. That's betterhelp.com forward slash crispy pro. Not only does clicking the link help support the channel, but you get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. So that's pretty good. And here's the beauty of it. Just as the doctor regenerates, if you're finding that your current therapist doesn't quite have that connection, you can change to a different one at no additional cost. As someone who's faced their own mental health struggles, I wholeheartedly recommend therapy and thank BetterHelp for making it more accessible. Now we're at the National Museum here in Cardiff and you might recognize these steps here from the Planet of the Dead or maybe Sherlock. Um, but yeah, there's a heap of episodes that they filmed here as well. So let's go and check it out. We're inside the National Museum and it's very strange seeing all of this right now because I think that this is where the heist took place at the start of Planet of the Dead with Cassandra. Very cool stuff. And then over there are the stairs in which uh, everyone walked up with Vincent van Gogh to go and see his work. And I think that this is the uh, 3W Institute from Death in Heaven and stuff. So it's very random but very cool. Very random and very cool indeed. But on my bucket list, I needed to recreate this scene. This scene. Whenever anyone that's not a fan of Doctor Who talks about Doctor Who, they either talk about the Weeping Angels or this scene from Vincent and the Doctor. And they filmed a lot of that episode here. So here is me trying to recreate this shot. Look, I know it's nerdy, but I think that's pretty cool. So then we moved into the actual exhibition, the actual museum, and it was gorgeous. A lot of beautiful art, and I probably could have stayed there for hours. But then I realized they filmed another iconic Doctor Who episode here, the 50th anniversary. This was the gallery where they had the Gallifrey Falls painting. What, how damn cool is that? But with time and our trip running out, we had to say our goodbyes and go all the way to Liverpool. And it was in Liverpool that I was able to catch up with my podcast co-host Troy and meet for the first time in person. So that was pretty cool. And if you aren't subscribed to the podcast, what are you doing? Do it after this video, thank you very much. Where are we today, Troy? We're in Liverpool. Why? Because it's where I live. Oh! <laughs> uh, what, what's this right here? What's all this? So if we look just above up there, that is where uh, Dan gave his little speech at the start of the Halloween apocalypse. Yeah, right. Flux. And also around the corner is where he said his famous line, what's the point of being alive? What it's is? Really inspirational words. Mm. Uh, but this is just the start. There's a few things they filmed around here uh, for Dan, for some of the scenes in Flux and all around Liverpool. There's a few different spots that we should be going to. All right, let's have a look. Let's do it. All right, Troy, where are we now? So this is where Dan was recruited to get on board the TARDIS at the end of Flux. Uh -huh. So the TARDIS was right over here and Dan was right over there. So okay. he'd just been dumped by Di and then got picked up on the TARDIS. Troy? Yeah? What are we looking for? I was just looking for the pier, Dad. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh! What is this? What, this are we, what are we doing? It's St. George's Hall. Right. Which has not just been used for Doctor Who, it's been used in the Batman as well as a Gotham Town Hall as a random extra fab, but this was used for survivors of the Flux. So when Yaz, Dan, and Jericho are stuck in 19, whatever year it is, the 30s? Don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> they're stuck in, the, in a period time and yeah. they're coming out of a building and Yaz gets a sexist comment, if I seem to remember rightly. Right. She's like, this girl can take care of herself. It's on those steps over there. Right. And they filmed it here. It was just Mandip and John. I don't know if Kevin Benali was here for filming the scene there, but John and Mandip were. Oh, wow. What a journey. But some of you may be thinking, hey, Crispy, I thought you said you're going to try and get to five locations. You, you only mentioned four. You're right. And because of that, uh, on the way home, we stopped in at Camden, which is where they filmed the 60th anniversary. That's right. We did it, baby. We did it. Come on. It's goodbye from Troy. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from Crispy. Alon Z. Alan Z, baby. And that's it. Like and subscribe.